Hey, um, a quick word of encouragement um, to the body of Christ. So this morning, um, I heard someone say, I'm worried about the end times. I'm worried about the birth pangs that are about to come upon the world and um, just concerned about everything that will happen. And I wanted to say to those of you who are worried about the end times and the birth pangs that are about to come upon the earth, if you continue to walk with the Lord, the Lord has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you till the end of this age. So if you continue to walk with the Lord, and if you continue to hear from the Lord, you will be confident. This evening, um, right now, I mean, you know, my wife was reading a portion of scripture to me from uh, Judges chapter 4 and 5. You know, it's the, it's the portion of scripture about uh, Deborah, Barak, and um, just want to point out a couple of quick things and I'll end this video. Uh, I, I would encourage you to read that portion of scripture, uh, Judges chapter 4, 5, and then the portion of Gideon comes right after, okay? Deborah was confident. She gave a message to Barak that the Lord wants you to go and fight Sisera and his army, uh, the commander of King Jabin. A um, couple of things. Barak said, I will go if you will go with me. But Deborah was confident. And um, this is what I want to say. If you directly hear from the Lord, you will be confident to go. You're not concerned. You're not worried because the Lord has told you to go. Joshua was confident. Even though he was a commander of the army, he heard from the Lord. So when you walk with the Lord and you have an encounter with the Lord and the Lord speaks to you, you will be confident. Child of God, do not be discouraged. Do not be worried. Be confident the Lord is with you. Continue to walk with the Lord. Pray without ceasing. Walk in the Spirit. You will hear from the Lord. And once you hear from the Lord, I tell you, you will be confident. Nothing will face you. Another thing I wanted to point out. To Barak, God said, take 10,000 people with you. But right in the next chapter, Gideon gathers an army of, I think, 32,000. And finally comes down to 300 300 soldiers, and Gideon goes, wins the battle. Barak, on the other hand, Yael, the wife of, I think, Heber, ends up killing Sisera. Okay, so there's a difference. Gideon, again, heard from the Lord. He asked for multiple signs, but he heard from the Lord and he went. Barak, on the other hand, was a pansy because he did not hear from the Lord. He just heard from prophetess Deborah about what to do. So it matters where you receive your commands from. It matters if you have a connection with the Lord. And I would encourage you, pray, walk with the Lord, walk in the spirit. And once you hear from the Lord, you will be confident. The righteous are bold as a lion. And if you're an unbeliever, you're listening to this message and you really want to establish that the relationship with the Lord, you know what the key is? Very simple. Just put your faith in Jesus. Just trust in Jesus. Acts chapter 238, that's what I would like to point you to, okay? Read the Gospels, but get to Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Very clearly it says, you repent of your sins, believing in the Lord Jesus, obviously. Be baptized in water, and then you will receive the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God will continue to lead you, will give you direction. How can you hear from God? You want to hear how can, how can you hear from God? Very simple. Pick up your Bible, start reading, folks. I want to really encourage you. Pick up your Bible, start reading from the Word of God. God will speak to you. And before you start reading, just say a short prayer saying, Lord Jesus, I want to read your Word. I want to hear from you. Help me to understand this. Your Holy Spirit is the author. Help me to understand this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. I hope this encourages you. God bless you.